Hi guys, it's Dr. Sharma here and today I'm going to share my top five favorite websites that I use in my teaching every day. I sometimes I create my own web worksheets, but most of the time I just find one that works for my students. There are amazing resources online and free. So why not use them? and give credit to those people who are creating these amazing, amazing resources for us. So let's jump straight into it. My first favorite, which I use a lot, is MathsBot. Uh, this website has so many questions like question generators, starters, do now. I mostly use it for do nows. It gives like the basic, basic introduction, like teaching junior classes. Sometimes you need just those basic skills to be practiced again and again. So one of my favorite is this one. I teach senior school. So even my juniors is like year 80 and nine students. So like this, this is something really basic that is used. Uh, I use it every day. You can create a new worksheet every time you do that. Right. Another amazing of these resources could be like if you go to GCSE, it has these GCSE skills. It's like one one mark questions that usually come again, new questions and you can print these. So it's it's not like you can't print them. Uh, GCSE, One Mark Wonders. There are so many amazing things. Definitely when you get into that work, uh, this website, you can find it for yourself. You can go explore this website and do it yourself. So just have a look. It has uh, multiplication facts. It has Pascal triangle. Uh, what else do I use in that one? So if I go to the home page, I'll go back to the home page. Question generator. You can generate your own textbook generators. Yeah, I used I've used the uh, textbooks as well. So you can click on whichever topic you are doing. Like you can create your weekly, fortnightly, or monthly or unit booklet. So let us suppose I have those things then create exercise based on that. So this has created exercise for that. You can print this as a booklet and then you can just give it to your students. It has answers at the bottom as well. So you can create your own booklets depending on what topics you are teaching. It is really good. See, there's a print thing there. You can print it. You can also put it on the screen. If you're using digitally, you can make it as a PDF and you can share it with your students online, depending on how you are teaching. Uh, and it's like it's it's I'm I'm in I'm a teacher in New Zealand. I've taught in India and in both the countries I have used these websites. So it doesn't matter where you are because maths is maths. The skills are skill. Depending on how you teach your uh, students, you can definitely uh, edit the worksheets. Although you can't edit these, but definitely these are the basic skills we all teach. Yeah. Another one of my favorite uh, is this amazing lady, Dr. Austin Maths. So Amanda, her name is Amanda, and she creates just amazing worksheets. So most of my lessons have one or two of her worksheets, definitely. So I get a starter from uh, Matt's board, and then my main lessons usually uh, has one of her worksheets. So I use my uh, PowerPoints to explain or however I want to teach. And then for practice, I usually give her worksheets. It's amazing. It's beautifully written. It is very scaffolded. So like this is a cracker code. It has random questions there on algebra. I just randomly clicked one and it has answers. The best part is all her worksheets has answers. So you can find whichever topic you want to do and then you click on PDF or you pl click on doc if you want to edit something and see how scaffolded it is. It shows exactly how you would want to teach your students. So that is another one of a basic and, and the best part is it is free. It has answers there as well. So these are the answers. You can put the answers on the screen. You can print the answers. You can share the answers with your students. However you want to teach, you can do that. So this is another of my favorite, favorite, which I use every, every day. Uh, it has uh, worksheets on 
all the topics like it's a lot of topics and she keeps on adding resources like every year every every week if you follow her on tutor you would know she puts a you can follow on tutor so you can follow on tutor and whenever she's add something new to the website she puts it there so you can definitely uh, get access to the new one straight away so this is her uh, further maths question so it's like just high level senior senior students enrichment questions some activities you can do in the class so i um, love it at the end she has this new section depending on so, so see here 28th of january she has added some new worksheets 27th she added a few so she keep on adding new stuff to that so yeah that is another one of my favorite uh at number three this amazing worksheet resource is Corbett Maths. This person is simply amazing. His worksheet, so he has on all these topics. So if I click on videos and worksheets, click here for answers. So you can go there for answers. But here you see he has practice questions and textbook questions. So practice questions are usually the past year exam questions. Uh, but textbook questions are the practice questions you can do in class. I use both depending on if, we, if I'm doing a revision or if I'm teaching. So if I'm teaching a skill, I use textbook exercise questions. If I'm uh, revising a skill, I would use practice questions. And there is a video explaining. So when you are a Y and you have a cover teacher or you have a relief teacher, you can set it up for your class. They can show the video on the screen and students can go even if the teacher, the relief teacher is not of like the same subject. They can still go on or otherwise if you are teaching um and the student want to practice the skills at home you can post the video as well and then they can learn at their own pace so she, uh, he again has uh, worksheets and these textbooks on all the topics all the topics i can think of so just go on random one textbook questions and look at the amazing questions it is there even on these worksheets on the top it is uh, has a video link scan here for answers and everything and the bottom it has answers again so you can click here and you don't have to go and find you can just click there share it with your students and they can check the answers as well so this one is amazing uh, website as well and i use it quite a lot like a lot and i usually get a couple of topics together i take their textbooks printouts and i make it as a booklet i'm i just love booklet i don't like printing like every day i usually print in bulk so i i usually print it for a couple of weeks work and that way i'm planned students are planned anyone who wants extra time can take time take the booklet home and do it at home someone who uh, is like a little advanced they can go ahead and do the next topic so it's like it's just keeping the class in pace uh, and I add some other uh, bits and pieces like crack the course from other website I put the things together of the same topic and then make a booklet for the students like fortnightly sometimes it is monthly depending on if the topic is longer or shorter but it's it's just my go-to place for worksheets and I just I just love it right at number four is another of my favorite 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 the fifth one you just can't miss it it's it's amazing the fourth one is resourceaholic and she is amazing joe morgan you can follow her on twitter if you like but she has put all the resources that is around the world People are creating free resources. She is putting that together for us for each topic. So look up here on the top. It has all the topics. You click on those topics. It is divided into subtopics. And each subtopic has topics and resources in there that other people have created, which are free for you to use. So she has, she has uh, put COVID matches there. That's a textbook exercise, which is amazing. Then there's another one. You click on them. They are usually PDFs. If you like it, print it for your students. Use it. Use it as a starter. Use it as end of the exercise. Use it as your main lesson. However, it fits your lesson. Depending on how you teach, you can use that resource. And it's just amazing. On each topic, you can get so many of the ones that she finds interesting. So she's the, like the first step. She likes those ones. Now you can use it just 
go through her, uh, like explore her website. She has used Dr. Austin Math, Corbett Maths, and some other people as well, which you might, sometimes I like their resources more than the other, depending on if my class is like of high flyers or low flyers, if they need more scaffolding, less scaffolding. Uh, and also depends on topic. Sometimes I want to teach the topic in depth. Sometimes I just want to touch the topic for the surface and go to the next one. Depending on how I'm teaching, I uh, go explore these topics and then see which one suits best for my students. So like see here, it, it's just scaffolded into different topics, different worksheets, which you can just go in there and print. Another best thing about this uh, website is the GEMS which is she put together the resources that she has done. So it starts from like 2014. And if you scroll down, it goes till 2023. She does that monthly, sometimes, sometimes whenever she has good amount of resources, new resources to share, she write a gem one. So if I go to the latest one that she has done, she has uh, put together the resources she found really interesting online that can help us teaching. And you can just go around click them, explore them, and use them in your class if that works for you. So yeah, that is my another one of my favorite. And this is like a whole, uh, what would you say? It, it, it is just there, like it is a resource will go down. Like you have so much resources in this one website that you just find resources for any topic you can think of, like any topic you can think of. You can put that topic in there. It's a uh, There's a search bar in here. So it's at the bottom, not at the top, which is fine. Search bar here, you put the topic there and you can find every resource on that topic. I'll just write fractions uh, for you to show you. Click on fractions and it will show everything that she has written on fractions and you will get all the fraction resources there. On, isn't this amazing? This is just the amazing website. I can't thank Joe Morgan enough, Joe Morgan enough to putting this thing together. Like this is just amazing. Now the last one is a website that is still being like it's not too old, so there aren't many resources, but the resource that is there is just amazing. It is called Interwoven Maths. It doesn't have a lot of it, but what it has is the best. So what he does is he put together a couple of skills and then let's go to the home page. He put a couple of skills together in one worksheet. So you're not just teaching like area, you can also be teaching them significant numbers through area. You are like quadratics. Here, snake. So there's a quadratic. It has random questions there that makes people think about it. All right. It's also quadratics. It's also roots in 6.5. It has all the skills regarding quadratics in that one worksheet. And it has answers there as well. Another one you could see, just randomly click on any. Like ex for exploring, you will have to go through yourself to go and explore those things. Trig equations, factor theorem. And then there are answers there as well. So I've used his website not too much, but I've used it sometimes and my students really like it. I like it too. It has so much for students to think around and it's just amazing. And I can't thank these people enough to put the resources together for us, for teachers like us who do not have enough time, although none of the teachers have time, but it's, it's, it's just there. You can plan your lessons so easily. They are putting the hard work there. I just can't thank them enough. I'll put all the links in the description below for you to go and explore these websites. In my next video, I'll create for the digital one. So like the ones that you can just share the link with the students and students can work digitally and you can track their work. There are so many of the free ones there as well and my other websites as well. I love going in exploring uh, resources, especially the free resources around uh, that the people share. And I would love to share it with you guys as well. Right? Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on my next video. See ya. Have a wonderful day.